Steve or Madden, I guess, Tommy John, we are her fad then, so we're law her in Yuxa, Shomer Orsa. So thank you very much for the invitation to present her today in this beautiful room. Um, my name is Teresa O'Darty and I'm from Mary Matlock College. There are three partners involved in this project, the University of Limerick, Mary Matlock College and NUI Galway. And unfortunately, our colleagues in Galway have an open day today where they're recruiting students, so they can't be with us today. Um, this project is extremely timely and appropriate. It is responsive to the changing landscape of Irish teacher education for this moment. The past several years have seen substantial developments in education policy and reform, which have led to a national imperative for developing teacher research practices in Ireland. Policy documents such as the DES Circular 3912 the Literacy and Numeracy for Learning and for Life document 2011 and the School Self-Evaluation Guidelines 2012 have mandated that school decision making is based on research informed evidence. Teachers must be researchers. They must be practitioners and therefore they need to have research expertise and be able to communicate with researchers in a research informed way is now essential. The landscape of initial teacher education then has changed dramatically in the last decade. Following a review and restructuring of the provision of undergraduate and postgraduate programs in initial teacher education, research has become an integral part of all ITE programs, and efforts to develop and hone educational research skills have become a priority within the discipline. This emphasis on teacher research is also evident within the larger teacher profession. The Teaching Council's 2015 draft document on teachers' learning, COSON, which means pathway, explicitly acknowledges the central role of research in teachers' professional learning and openly calls for mechanisms which will link research projects across the country and facilitate a collaborative research dialogue. This project seeks to harness the professional appetite for fostering a culture of research within the teaching profession. Educational commentators, researchers, uh, practitioners have all lamented this gap between the research that's happening in the classroom and research in higher education. And education research is often viewed as private, exclusive and irrelevant to those teachers in the classroom. However, teachers themselves are generating research questions from their everyday activities in the classroom and these questions rarely find themselves in the academic research agenda. This project seeks to develop a digital bridge between um, the student researchers, the teacher researchers, and higher education researchers, and will facilitate in conducting collaborative research projects which have real-world focus, a real-world purpose, and a real-world impact. Thank you, Teresa. Um, so the question is, what will Rex do? Well, there are three complementary aspects to the project. The first is the building of a piece of software. Uh, digital infrastructure that will provide digital tools for research. The second is providing an educational environment that will enable that digital infrastructure to be put to best use. And that will build on the All Aboard project, which uh, in all three partner institutions are a uh, partner of. And finally, there's the, we will bring the people. That is, we will um, provide the, the digital infrastructure, the environment in which that infrastructure is useful, and the people to whom that infrastructure is useful. The digital infrastructure itself, the software, has three primary aspects. Its social network aspect, which is um, very similar to something you'll all be familiar with, the social networks you're more likely part of. Um, it'll include a host of collaboration tools to enable collaborative research projects across um, various professional boundaries. And it would also um, provide educational resources to enable continual professional learning um, that begins during initial teacher education and continues right through the profession. The educational environment is going to be fostered, as I said, right from the, those ITE programs, the Initial Teacher Education programs, the Professional Masters in Education, or PME, and the B.Ed programs in the three institutions. Um, these will include blended learning modules and research methods, which will um, begin the process of inducting people into the use of the, uh, the platform as, uh, through the process of teaching them research methods, um, and will give them their first access to the open educational resources that will uh, remain open for the entire profession uh, of teachers and teachers researchers. Um, finally, the, the group of people involved, um, the students are at the heart of it, um, but they are one aspect of a sort of a community with three elements, student researchers, teacher researchers who are already in professional practice, 
uh, and want to engage in uh, more research, but presently have very few supports for doing so, and higher education researchers who, are, uh, who have many of those um, supports and are there um, very explicitly for the students in the first instance. So how are we actually going to do this? Well, uh, we're going to develop a piece of software, which we refer to as the Rex platform. Um, it, it's going to be starting with an open source base, which means we don't start from scratch, and we also uh, gain extensibility and adaptability long term. Um, there's going to be an alpha phase, which will run through late spring um, summer, which will enable us to um, test both um, the social network aspects and the collaboration tools aspects while we're developing some of the educational content. Um, that will also be created for, from other projects such as the All Aboard. Um, and that will involve as well a small group of students um, running through the collaboration tools with their supervisors while engaged in their uh, undergraduate research. The beta test then is a year-long test which will involve the entire integrated um, platform being put to use from uh, initial research question development by students in a situation where they can now communicate about those specific research questions with professionals who are already in practice, as well as the sort of collaborative uh, multi-site um, supervision that a, a, a higher education researchers will be able to do uh, to foster that, um, that, re that, that undergraduate research as it progresses. Um, the teaching and learning is going to be a curation of existing resources, uh, again, uh, coordinated through the All Board, um, as well as the creation of new resources on the basis of redesigned research methods modules within the PME and the, the BEd programs. So that will be done in collaboration and coordin in coordination with the, the delivery staff in that case. And the aim there is to reorient the notion of research from something that gets conducted by isolated people who don't really talk to anyone else to teams of people who collaborate and interact and are able to produce um, quite substantial pieces of work that might involve multiple sites of data collection. And, uh, data collection. And that also involves um, the development and curation of open educational resources. And what we'll also be doing is empowering researchers by offering them a voice, by um, giving students the teacher research identity and um, the notion that research can be a normal activity for teachers too. Um, it, the, and by giving the, the existing um, teacher educators, the, the current professionals, um, the opportunity to talk about something we know they already want to talk about. Um, and the higher education researchers tend to have quite a bit of a voice anyway, but at the very least, it's good to include them in the conversation. Um, how will we promote Rex? Well, we will do so through a, um, a series of um, interlinked um, actions. The first and probably um, most straightforward is the induction of students in the, into the teacher-researcher identity. Um, and that is, make the notion of research normal for a teacher. Uh, and that starts from the research methods modules, and in fact, through the entire, and it already exists in the redesigned IT programs. We're just going to foster that a little bit more. Uh, professional conversations, just informal conversations between those of us on the Rex team, supervisors that we've recruited for the early alpha test, um, and other sort of colleagues, as well as professional conversations that will be conducted with the um, the working professionals um, already. Um, teaching, which I'll um, talk about a little bit more in a second. Um, there will be training on how to use Rex, uh, both for the students and for um, higher education researchers who are going to be supervising those students. Um, so those training programs, uh, primarily aimed for the early beta test, uh, will provide obviously a, a means to um, promote the project as well. Crucially though, regional education centres around the country, um, coordinated by the Association of Teacher Education Centres in Ireland, that's a techie, um, we already have existing professional relationships with them, because you have to if you want to be an IT provider. Um, uh, the existing profession is crucial. They've got a lot of passion already. We just need to um, set it on fire, as it were. Um, the, uh, the passion is there on existing social networks. There's an edchatie, or edchatty hashtag on Twitter. Um, and the teachers are already tweeting that they want something like this to happen. Um, it's a question of, can someone actually make it happen? We're fairly sure we can. Um, finally, we're going to have a massive recruitment dive and fail to in 2016, and that's effectively a, a festival for excellence in teaching and learning. And that will enable us again, we, we've got the students, they're captive, um, we can get the researchers, they're always desperate for participants and school partners, we want the teachers, and we're going to get them through the education centres and through the um, Ed Chatty and through Felton. Um, okay, so what are the national outcomes actually likely to be for this kind of program? Well, there are three facets to the program, and so three different facets to the outcomes. The first is an actual piece of software, um, open source, extensible, and um, built from base. Um, and that will, the intention is to make it look like every other social network you've come across. So it looks familiar, it's easy to use, there's low barrier to entry. 
Um, but once you're in, you've got a whole set of resources available to you. So uh, we've got a left-hand column here, which is basic profile information, which remains consistent across the entire site. Um, both basically, the, the key issue is that the profiles are research interest based and your activity feed is driven by other people, not that you follow or are already connected with, but who share the similar research interests. So you're able to find people research interests that you didn't know about before. Um, there's also uh, an opportunity to sort of engage in particular um, projects and resources will tend to occupy the third column here. Um, so a user profile will look, um, sorry, it's a little bit of a message coming in there. The, um, uh, user profile is sort of a, a set of information that a person will be able to edit and the certain aspects they'll be able to make public or private depending on their um, particular interests. Um, the collaboration tools is effectively like a Facebook group, um, but in this case it provides a, a sort of a scaled down version of Rex that's specific to your particular project. So in this case, we have five or six um, members of a team, you don't need their surnames in this case, and they all can just sort of tweak little updates or uh, add status updates, which make it very clear what I'm up to, rather than having team meetings where everyone has to go through some prolonged updating process. Just little things ongoing that as the, pro uh, the project progresses, everyone can keep up to date. And the idea of sort of um, sharing a timeline, shared fi uh, files, and potentially things like journals um, are all sort of uh, easy to see um, in sort of, or imagine in use. Finally, there will be learning resources there because the, despite the fact that there is this massive national imperative for teachers to become research practitioners, there's very little support for them to do so, either in time or in the sort of easy availability of, of research and learning. So, um, and also our, our students, as I said, is going to be a blended learning module, so there's going to be a lot of open educational resources available on the site. These will generally be um, a, a sort of arranged according to um, category and sort of thematic, sort of thematically organized systems. It'll be searchable though. Uh, but basically once you uh, identify the, the particular issue you're interested in, a set of resources will be made available to you, whether that's uh, as a collection of videos, as um, MCQs, reading lists, or other forms of uh, resources, as I said, which will be partially created from existing material and partially developed in order to fit the needs of the revised IT programs. That's just a sort of a last quick example there. Now, um, so a couple of the, that's the sort of that's the software anyway. The research culture, though, is really where the national impact um, can potentially come in because now we'll have student researchers, teacher researchers, and higher education researchers who are going to be involved in research conversations. We will enable students to talk to their peers about their research. And it's not just their peers in their own institution, but peers who have their same research interests who might be in Galway or um, UL or Mary I or, or elsewhere as the project takes off. There will also be collaborative projects. And because this is an online system, there is no geographical limit to those collaborative projects. Okay. The, as our graduates go out into schools all across the island, so the, uh, the collaborations can continue and the impact can continue. Um, and finally, teacher researchers, the, the identity of teacher researchers within um, the, the our, our on, sort of ongoing rollout of student graduates, um, as well as within the, the, um, the existing professionals who want to, to be more involved in research. This is a graph over the next five years which indicates the number of graduates, gradu uh, graduates from the ITE um, programs in each of the three primary institutions. And our green line there is a predicted Rex user base. On the very conservative estimate, that only 10% of graduates continue to use Rex. Because every year we're going to plow a thousand more students into Rex, because that's what they're, um, basically it's going to be a required part of their research methods modules, we'll be able to maintain an existing community as well as keep the passionate ones after the fact. Um, and then how are we going to evaluate that um, feedback? Well, we're going to do so through um, a, a series of um, designed user feedback surveys associated with the alpha test and beta test that will effectively look at how they use Rex, what they like about it, and how their experience of it works. But because Rex is a nice big computer platform, it's going to produce all kinds of data. We can um, in basically examine how well it's doing its job by looking at some of those data analytics. So the number of active users, say the number of users who've made a status update or made other some other kind of change within the last three to four weeks. Uh, the number of active projects. The number of active projects with cross-domain collaborations, that is where a member of the project is um, outside of the higher education field. Um, and the range of affiliations of members of, of Rex, that is the, the range of um, of institutions involved that aren't just the primary three um, uh, partner institutions who are getting anything off the ground. That is the REST system for your consideration. Thank you. <laughs>